Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the Buddhism Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Tuesday, the 18th of April. Starting off uh, as usual with the FTSE 100, where we broke that uh, February resistance line last week. That was around uh, the 78.20 level. Above that, we're looking for a retest of February resistance itself, just through 88,000. And above that, looking for the top of that rising trend channel from September, as high as 82.50 as soon as the end of next month. On the downside, the risk of a test of support 78.20 and then maybe the 50-day moving average at 77.60. But at the moment, not looking at anything worse than that. On to the DAX. And uh, here you can see that uh, DAX is edging its way higher, uh, doing rather better than the FTSE in the sense that uh, we're at uh, highs for the year, which is uh, impressive given the alleged fundamental backdrop. Uh, 15,700, the old resistance. We're well above that now and uh, looking for the top of that rising trend channel from September last year, as high as 16,400 by the end of next month. At the moment, uh, not looking for any weakness back below the 50-day uh, moving average, which is rising at 15,400 if any rug pulls arrive. On to the Dow, which has that main one-year resistance line at 34,100 to... Uh, grapple with. Uh, we've uh, stalled here, as probably we should. We stalled multiple times, both in uh, December and in February, so not surprising that we're doing that now. But uh, here, maybe have a we have a little bit more hope that this will be uh, sort of the third or fourth main time that we get lucky. End of day close above 34,100, the trigger for a potential move to the top of that rising trend channel from August last year, around 36,500. And if we get through that line, then uh, the uh, uh, there could be a sort of a, a logjam effect and we might rush towards that uh, 36,500 area, which obviously is actually only last year's peak, so it's not uh, taking things too far. Uh, what we're waiting for maybe in the near term is just for that 50-day moving average, which is currently still going down, to uh, join the 200-day line and start moving up. That would really uh, get the momentum going. On the downside, nothing worse than 33,100 in the 50-day moving average is what we see. On to Bitcoin, which uh, after last week's uh, great strides has uh, decided to go into uh, a consolidation, but uh, it's a good consolidation. Uh, we found support above the uh, former March resistance at 29,000. Above that, we're still looking for 32,000. And above 32,000, looking for as high as uh, 38 or 39,000, as there was very little on the way down between 39 and 32 so hopefully would mirror that move uh, as we head on the other side of the big u shape that we've had over the past year below 9 29000 then there's the risk of the 50 day moving average of 26400 but uh, not looking for anything lower than that at this stage it's good that the rsi has gone back into the 50s uh, but remains above neutral 50 after the little pullback that we had from the uh, 31,000 zone. On to the stocks, and uh, there's been quite a revival in uh, tin and lithium plays. Uh, the uh, Andrada situation, uh, a good example of the turnaround. So Bear Trap rebound from below the uh, November support there, 3.9 pence. We've then broken the uh, resistance line there we had from April last year, uh, around 5 pence and about 5 pence we were looking for up to six and a half pence. Uh, ideally, that would happen by the end of this month. Above six and a half, the next target is up to eight and a half by the end of May. So looking rather better for Andrada, and deservedly so. Another improving situation is um, Blenco, which uh, in the past has always had sellers, found sellers on early rallies. Hopefully this time will be different. You can see that spike there in November and uh, sold quite aggressively after just two or three days. In this case, though, it looks as though the shares are building quite nicely. And uh, the reason for the relative optimism is that uh, we've actually uh, gapped up today through the 200-day moving average. We've got w W-shaped uh, reversal there. And um, the gap through the 200-day line could be a strong continuation signal of the, of the current uh, rebound. Uh, end of day close above the 50-day moving average at 4.9 pence. And we could be looking at as high as seven and a half pence by the end of next month so uh, it's a punchy call i suppose suggesting that the sellers won't come in on this occasion but uh, the market looks a little better 
Moving on to uh, CapEx, which is one of the uh, rises of the moment. And uh, here the excitement coming from the way that we gapped down in February. And we've gapped up now, so it's an island reversal. And uh, an end-of-day close above the 50-day uh, moving average at uh, 2.3 pence uh, could take us back up towards uh, 4.5 pence as soon as the end of next month. We're counting on that uh, island reversal working well. And also that it's a, a massive bear trap below three pence. Uh, if you look closely, you can also see that we've got bullish divergence there. So we had lower lows going into um, into April, or at least, uh, yes, lower lows there, but uh, the RSI moving much higher. So that does suggest uh, a turnaround should be on its way. Only back below two pence and the latest gap really delaying or questioning the upside scenario. On to uh, E-Energy, which uh, has been improving of late and uh, Obviously, after a rather uh, painful decline over the past year, here you can see that we've had uh, bullish divergence going into that late March rally that the shares had. They also broke that line of resistance there around three pence on the 50-day moving average. So, so far, they've behaved very well indeed. The uh, V-shaped bull flag that we have now is just about to be broken uh, around 5.4 pence. And uh, above that, on an end of day close basis, looking for at least six and a half over the next couple of weeks. Uh, the main resistance there, I suppose, around eight pence, and hopefully we could see that by the end of next month. Ideally, no, now no weakness back below uh, four and a half pence, and, I, and, I, and um, at least the worst case scenario would, would be that we'd had to test the four pence area again. But above four and a half, certainly looking for eight and a half by the end of next month on energy stock which is finally uh, turning itself around in a meaningful way is um, Emerson uh, the news flow finally sinking in from the company I could say that the uh, trend line broken there around uh, the four and a half pence level at the start of the week or maybe last week actually the end of last week initial target here up to five and a half pence hopefully by the end of this month and then after that up to uh, six and a half pence well before the end of May Looking good there really as a recovery while we're above four pence, given that that was the October November support, and we had a bear trap for March April below that support. On to a company I interviewed just a few days ago, and um, I have to say, really liked the uh, what I heard. Uh, looks like the market's taken a bit of a few days to uh, for that to sink in, but uh, here you can see that we've got this uh, a break higher within that uh, falling wedge situation. I suppose it. Uh, overshot a bit uh, towards the uh, sub seven pence area but uh, now we're looking at uh, at least initially up to the uh, 50 day moving average at nine pence uh, by the end of this month and then maybe up towards uh, resistance on the way down at around uh, 12 to 13 pence by the end of next month so uh, a much better situation on first tin on to uh, firing strategic and uh, here interesting development in the sense that we've got now we've got both the 50 and 200 day moving averages rising we broke a lot at the beginning of the month that resistance line there from november around the seven pence level so that was notionally the uh, uh, entry point there we also had bullish divergence a long bullish divergence line there but uh, the key here is that we should be in the run-up to a, a golden cross buy signal and uh, traditionally the run-up to such signals actually tends to be the strongest part of the cycle so looking for 11 pence ideally over the next couple of weeks perhaps by the end of this month and then after that one can look to resistance on the way down back in December for at 13 pence for some time in May only back below the 50-day line at 8 pence really delaying the improvement there one of the best uh, recoveries of the recent past uh, has come from Genflow Biosciences and uh, here we've hit the uh, target we were looking at at uh, around four and a half pence Above that, looking for a steeper resistance line, which I'll try and draw properly, uh, from back in May uh, last year, heading as high as 7.5 pence, and we can perhaps see that by the end of next month. Like firing, we also have now have the 50 and 200 day moving averages both rising. That means we're heading into a uh, golden cross, and uh, that should accelerate the process of recovery, uh, especially while we're above the old December peak around the uh, three and three quarter pence areas above that looking for seven and a half by the end of next month on to keras uh, which is another recovery situation rather overloaded with them at the moment uh, here we've got a broadening triangle from july 
top of that triangle heading from nine and a half pence which should hopefully be seen by the end of next month only back below uh, resistance on the way down so 5p uh, four, four and three quarters to 5p really delaying the prospect of further gains there on to a stock which i didn't really want to look at today uh, but uh, these are the ones that tend to surprise you when you uh, don't look th look at them here we've got uh, mast energy looks like a tri broadening triangle rebound very strong bullish divergence there so just looking for an end of day close above that february resistance line around one and a half pence to take us up as high as two and a half pence by the end of next month so let's see if the uh, bullish divergence works on that situation which uh, was one of the stars of the uh, first part of the year and um, in fact uh, from the summer on uh, last year uh, current situation with the uh, prospects is that we've uh, looks like we've finally broken that line of resistance a line which uh, was uh, potentially uh, rather narrower than that or less steep than that but uh, that was a, uh, a sort of marginal bear trap uh, we headed down to below the or towards the september support area at seven pence and that looks like it's finally kicked in but uh, could be fourth time lucky on a potential turnaround and retest of the 20 pence level the good news here is that we've got bullish divergence with that last dip so that should hopefully give us the uh, momentum to head up to the top of that falling trend channel at 14 pence over the next two to four weeks if you're cautious you wait for an end of day close of the rsi above neutral 50 we have been above that neutral 50 level since back in february so that was a bit of a giveaway that these uh, attempted rallies were uh, bull traps or you can just wait for an end of day close above the rising uh, 200 day moving average at 10 pence before targeting uh, 14 let's hope there are no more shenanigans there at um, prospects over the near term just a couple of stocks ago now first one is uh, vast resources which i covered on uh, friday and uh, then we had that great move for the stock yesterday just missed at the top of that broadening triangle uh, around the uh, 0.85 level which was obviously slightly disappointing what will be interesting to see now is whether we find support at uh, late march resistance around 0.65 Above that, we're still looking for 0.85 over the next few weeks. Finishing off with a less uh, followed stock, but uh, could be uh, important in the future, Velocity Composites. Uh, here we've gapped towards the 50-day uh, moving average. We still have that unfilled gap back from back in December, so that shows this is a strong situation. Waiting for an end-of-day close above the 50-day line to take us back up towards the uh, low 50s, which was february resistance on the way down and maybe we'll see that by the end of next month upside valid while we hold above recent support around 33 pence that's it for me today more updates tomorrow